offline games that you could play anytime, anywhere on your mobile devices. We always want to know what the newest and best ones are, even if they're ones that have been around for a while. Today, I'm sharing a list with you guys, 25 plus mobile games that you don't need an internet connection to play. To start off today's list, we have Grim Valor, which is a hack and slash action RPG game with 1 million downloads that has been around for quite a long time. If you like action and you want an action RPG style game, you can definitely trust this one since it has stood the test of time and really does take you through some amazing universes that are just fun and gonna keep you entertained. Next, we have Exiled Kingdoms. This game is definitely a classic. It's a single player action RPG that allows you to roam freely through a unique world. Keep in mind, this is a $5.50 game if you want to play it. It's an isometric game inspired by some of the best role-playing games from the past decades, and it brings back old spirit in classic ways within the graphics and the general gameplay. Mr. Auto Fire is a platformer, fast-paced, bullet hell, shoot 'em up style game with solid graphics. And again, something that's extremely addictive that has been around for a really long time. You're gonna rampage your way through levels, unlock new worlds, and shoot the alien in the face in this action platformer. You're gonna find new weapons and gear as you go as well that's gonna keep you addicted and occupied as you play offline. Titan Quest. This is a $10 game with over 100,000 downloads. That tells you something about it. And yes, it may have a little bit more of a retro style graphic theme to it, but it is a true action role playing game. This one was originally released back on PC in 2006, but now has the ability to play on mobile as well. And as you can see, it has a ton of hours worth of gameplay. And this is an RPG that's set in a mythological backdrop. Now, since we're talking about RPGs, or I should say action RPGs, you can't ignore Anima. This is probably one of the best free to play retro style action RPGs on the mobile market. This one's truly gonna give you the feeling of playing something like Diablo 2 and it's an absolutely free to play game that's so much fun, addicting, and it's gonna give you the hack and slash RPG style feel that you're really looking for. And then there's Pickle Pete. This is a bullet hell survival style game where you get to unlock different weapons as you go and then upgrade the weapons that you choose to utilize as you try and take down all the bugs that are trying to eat. Well, the pickle. Super fun game, super casual, and really easy to play. Alien Creeps Tower Defense. This is a super fun tower defense game that's absolutely free to play and has been around for about six years at this point in time. And you're gonna have some really fast paced battles where hordes of devious enemies, lightning bolts, helicopters, explosions, and everything come at you, but you need to defend your base. That's typically how tower defense games work. The great thing about this one is you can play offline, it looks great and it's super addicting and makes you wanna keep coming back for more. Asphalt 8. Not the newer brother of this game, Asphalt 9, but Asphalt 8 gives you the ability to play offline. And it's obviously a car racing game with some really solid graphics, over 100 million downloads, and that's starred up very well. If you're looking for a really nice looking racing game that you could take on the go where the internet connection is lacking, this is probably the best option in racing. Do you want to build your empire inside of a city? Well, SimCity Build It will allow you to do just that. This is where you're gonna basically play the mayor and build out your city to your liking to make sure that it's profitable and to make sure that it all works. Super fun game that is gonna have you keeping on joining back in to continue the build. If you like these types of management style games, this could be something that you really enjoy. It's definitely more of a casual game. And then we have Day R Premium. This is a post-apocalyptic style game that is in the action, adventure, and survival format. This is a $5 game if you want to purchase it, and that's at least to get it without the ads. But as you can see, gameplay is much more like a tabletop gameplay style. It's definitely something that's niche, and if you're into that niche, you may like this one. Zombie Shooting D-Day 2. All right, we needed a bullet game that had zombies in it that you could play offline. And in this one, you're 80 days since the apocalypse and your goal is to survive as long as you can. You're gonna defend yourself and teammates from the walking dead using realistic weapons, explosive firearms, and advanced gear. You're gonna get skills that you can unlock and weapon upgrades that you can use to progress even further 
from the Horde. Earn to Die 2. This is one of those stunt driving games that's definitely casual, fun, and uh, I guess you could say reckless. You're gonna try and destroy as many things as you can as you go through the levels and get as far as you can, hopefully not hurting anyone. Be sure to let me know your favorite mobile games that don't require connection in the comments below. Mad Zombies Offline Games. With 10 million downloads, this game has definitely been played by the community. You have a ton of weapons that you can utilize and upgrade to make sure that you take down the enemy horde before it takes down you. Yes, we have another one of those zombie apocalypse style games where you kill stuff, but they're fun and that's why there's a bunch of them. Dead Cells is a game priced at $8.99, and this is your Castlevania-style platformer game with a bit of a retro style. It's actually a fantastic platformer. It's a ton of fun. The graphics are definitely in the 16-bit realm, but it's something that you're gonna love, I think, if you loved Castlevania or you like platformers with a lot of action. Oh yeah, and another zombie shooter. This one being Zombiest Zombie Shooter. This one's actually rated very high at 4.8 stars and people seem to love it and you may love it as well. Actually, this one very much reminds me of Killing Floor, which was a massive game on Steam that I loved. Last Hope TD Tower Defense. All right, another zombie game here, but this one is a tower defense style game, which you know I'm a big fan of. So basically what you're doing here is trying to hold your zone, not allow the zombies to get to your home base and Use all the weapons and upgrades that you can to prevent the destruction. All right, so maybe that one wasn't really that impressive, but this one surely is Very Little Nightmares, a $7 price tag game right here in the vertical format where you're gonna be doing puzzles and adventures as you walk around as the girl in the yellow coat. A beautiful atmospheric game that has really won tons of awards and loved by so many. Dead Effect. This one's been around for quite some time, and yes, it's another zombie shooter style game. One that's older, but has also been upgraded and updated and kept up with by the developers. So if you're looking for a zombie game to take on the go, you have this one. Or it's twin brother that's coming in a little bit. Vector Classic. This is a silhouette style platformer game where you're running from one zone to the next through many different places that you may not expect. You're in city streets, you're in the alleys, you're in the office. You're basically a guy that sits at a desk that is dying to get out and move his body through many different parkour elements that he has unleashed in his day. And here is that brother I was speaking of, of Dead Effect, uh, being Dead Effect 2. Basically the same game, just a newer version of it, and also still being upgraded and updated by the developers. Super fun, super bloody, super brutal. Modern Warplanes. This one's called PvP Warfare, but let's please note that there is an offline mode inside of this game as well. If you're looking for an air flying shooting style game, this is one that you could try. Hero Hunters 3D Shooter Wars. You have another strategy style shooting game here where you play as different classes. You have a nice cover system that you could utilize and fair graphics for what it's worth. Has a little bit of a Gears of War feel mixed with possibly a Call of Duty feel. Definitely a fun casual style shooter. And then there is Stickman Legends Offline Game. This is an action RPG platformer where you play in the Stickman universe and you beat stuff down with a ton of different weapons that get upgraded along the way and that are kind of a fun, casual battle to embark on. Idle Apocalypse is an idle single player pixelated offline game with 1 million downloads and well, you know you needed an idle style game inside of this one. Super casual gameplay that will basically play itself and you can manage it when you come back online. If you like the pixelated look of something back from the days of NES and you want something idle, this is one that you can definitely give a shot at. Street Fighter 4 CE. This is your nice fighter that you definitely are gonna love. Definitely on and offline options to play in this one. And if you love Street Fighter, it's one that you have to play. One of the best fighters of all time on consoles. Now you get to play it on your mobile phone as well. Super fun and play it on the go. And lastly, we have Micro Breaker, which is a 3D brick breaker game that is, well, like any other brick breaker game, just a ton of fun, keeps you coming back to try and beat the next level. But this one looks really good as well. Super easy to play and enjoyable. It's gonna bring you back to the olden days of brick breaker when things were just a lot more simple. Thanks for watching till the end. Remember to subscribe for tomorrow's video.